Welcome sa zip9.com. This video ay tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, domain and range. No? And uh, this is going to be our last video on uh, domain and range of um, rational functions. No? I think uh, nakita nyo yung ating pinaka-strategy dito. No? Kasi meron tayong denominator. And sabi natin, our denominator cannot be zero. So, ang pinaka- uh, pinaka step na gagawin natin is to uh, see kung saan ba nagiging zero yung ating denominator. So dapat not equal to zero to, no? So in this in this example, 25 x squared minus 4 should not equal to zero, no? And this is difference of two squares. We have 5x plus 2 and 5x minus 2 should not equal zero, which means that uh, 5x plus 2 not equal to 0 and 5x minus 2 should not equal to 0. So, magiging 5x must not equal negative 2 tapos uh, x should not equal to 2 negative 2 over 5. No? Dividing both sides. Parang equation lang to, no? Ang, ang pagkakaiba lang nila yung sign is not equal. So, kung Paano nyo sinosolve yung equation? Ganon nyo rin siya isosolve. Dito naman, 5x should not equal 2, no? By adding 2 to both sides. And x should not equal to 2 fifth, no? Dividing 5. Uh, dividing both sides by 5. Okay? Now, um, sa ito yung magiging domain natin. Ibig sabihin ito yung restriction. No? Not equal to negative 2 over 5. Tsaka not equal to uh, 2 over 5. Diba? So kung meron ang number line. Now if you have a number line. Nandito na natin sa baba ilagay. So if this is your number line. Bawal siya sa negative 2 over 5. Tsaka bawal din siya sa 2 over 5. So, pero yung ibang numbers pwede, no? Kaya, uh, simula dito, papunta sa 2 over 5, from negative infinity to negative 2 over 5. So, from negative infinity to negative 2 over 5. Kasama yan, pero not including 2 over 5. Tapos, paglagpas mo ng 2, not including negative 2 over 5, no? Baka may mga nababanggit ako na walang negative, pero negative to. So, this is from negative 2 over 5 to 2 over 5, 2 fifth. Hindi rin sila kasama yung mga numbers, no? And then, uh, from 2 fifth to infinity, no? So, kung hindi kayo familiar dito sa, ano na to, sa notation na to, liba, this is your first time to to uh, watch the SIP9 video on domain and range, balikan niyo yung BR01 tsaka BR02, no? I think this is BR13, no? Pang 13th uh, video na ito. So, doon ko tinuro yung paggamit nito. And, of course, from uh, 2 fifth up to infinity, no? So, ito yung maging domain natin, no? It, ilalagyan lang natin ng uh, union sign. Okay, so uh, this one and this one, they are both, uh, they, they mean the same thing. No? So ito, ibig sabihin yung set of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 2 fifth, x is not equal to 2 fifth. Ganun din dito, pareho yung ibig sabihin. Ito, lang, ito nga lang nasa ano siya, nasa interval notation. Okay? So for the second video, we have Again, we cannot let uh, the denominator be zero, so not equal to zero din sila, di ba? x squared minus 8x plus 15 is not equal to zero, meaning mag-factor pa rin tayo. We have x, I think this is x minus 5 tsaka x minus 3, not equal to zero, meaning x minus 5 is not equal to zero and x minus 3 not equal to 0, which means that x is not equal to 5, x not equal to 3. No? 
So again, kung meron ka ulit number line, this is from, meron tayong 3, meron tayong 5. Hindi sila, pero kasa, hindi sila pareho kasama. So from negative infinity to 3, negative infinity up to 3, tapos from 3 to 5, tapos from 5 to infinity. So, i-union lang natin yan, no? Lalagyan lang natin yan ng union sa gitna. Union dito. And that's our domain. No? Now, lastly, we have uh, ito naka-cube na ito kaya medyo medyo mahaba-haba ito. So, x cubed plus 2x minus um, plus 2x squared minus 8x x cubed plus 2x squared minus 8x is not equal to 0. Puro may x, no? So we can factor out x. x squared plus 2x minus 8. No? It's not equal to 0. Ano ba tayo factor? Ang 8 ay 4 times 2, di ba? So x 4 and 2. Mas malaki yung 4, no? Plus 4 tsaka minus 2. Tama? 4x minus 2x is 2x. And minus 8 is not equal to 0. Meaning lahat yan not equal to 0. So x not equal to 0. x plus 4 not equal to 0. And x minus 2 not equal to 0. So meaning, meaning x, x is not equal to 0. x is not equal to negative 4, no? Subtracting uh, 4 from both sides. And then adding 2 to both sides, we have x is not equal to 2. No. So, all numbers except this 3. No. Ibig sabihin, no, we can draw a number line to, again, to visualize. So, pag ito yung number line natin, bawal siya sa negative 4, bawal siya sa 0, tsaka bawal siya sa 2. So, bawal yung tatlong yan. So, from negative infinity, papunta dito, that's negative, papunta sa, four, sa negative 4, no? So, from negative infinity to negative 4, hindi kasama, and then from negative 4 to 0, negative 4 to 0, hindi sila pareho kasama. From 0 to 2, hindi sila pareho kasama, and from uh, 2 to infinity. So, lahat yan, i-union natin. Yan yung ating mga domains. No? Okay, so to summarize, no? to summarize, uh, usually, ang uh, ating denominator ay in-equate natin sa 0, di ba? And, pag na-equate na natin sa 0, no? Siyempre, pag linear equation lang siya, madali lang siya, no? Pero pag, kuwari, quadratic na siya, or, um, Pag quadratic siya, pina-factor natin siya, no? Katulad, katulad dito. So, x, x squared minus 8x plus 15. Factorable. So, pwede, pwede natin siya i-factor. But then again, kung hindi siya pwede i-factor, gagamit kayo ng quadratic uh, formula, no? Para makuha niya yung mga roots niya. And, no, in this case naman, cube siya, pero factorable yung x. Kaya yung matitira maging quadratic uh, expression din siya. So, basically, Ang pinaka-idea is, pag rational function, i-equate yung uh, denominator by 0 and uh, find the value of x by factoring by quadratic equation, no? Or by by simply equating if it's a linear linear uh, equation, no? And syempre, maiiba na yan, no? Pag, uh, dito kasi ang, ang pinag-aralan natin sa last uh, three videos yung sa rational function. Parehong, ang rational function kasi parehong polynomial yung numerator niya sa ka-denominator, no? Pag nilagyan mo na ng square root of 3x yan, for example, mag-iiba na yung domain yan kasi you have to consider that 3x must be greater than or equal to 0 katulad nung ano, pag-aralan natin sa radical function. So, actually, pwede rin to, no? Pero hindi na siya rational. Pero pag-aaralan natin yung mga ganyang functions sa mga susunod na videos, no? Uh, ang susunod na video natin ay more on... Uh, Siguro magkakaroon tayo ng isa o dalawang videos on absolute uh, value, no? yung absolute value functions, yung function na containing the absolute value signs, no? pero basic lang na functions. And then we will have more examples on mga different types of functions na uh, 
uh, karaniwang lumalabas sa sa mga exams no but i guess no the idea is uh, dito sa video na to is to equate the denominator uh, to zero no o, o, o kaya i don't know kung anong english term an equate pa tawag dito kasi unequal siya so uh, pwede nating i-unequate siya sa, sa zero i don't know if that's a, if that's a correct term no but um, I think nakikita niyo naman kung paano ang ginawa natin. Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, meron kayo natunan sa video na to. Uh, gusto kayong invite sa sipnayan.com yung ating uh, uh, website. And uh, kung kayo nanonood sa YouTube, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating channel. This is the 13th video. No? Uh, so makikita nyo, dinidiscuss ko extensively yung domain and range. No? And uh, I hope uh, makakatulong ito sa inyong pag-aaral. See you in the next tutorial.